I was lucky enough to interview Don Tyson, who, who turned the company from a regional chicken firm into the world's biggest meat company, basically. And the story of Tyson Foods illuminates how we got to where we are today and how the system really works. The system in Waldron, there's, there's a word in rural America called chickenized, okay? The Yandels were chickenized. Waldron's economy was chickenized, centrally controlled, dominated by one company. Chickenization is now the dominant form of meat production. It cuts across pork. It cuts across cattle. By understanding how Tyson Foods operates and how it came to be, you can understand our entire meat system. So vertical integration really began back in the 1940s when you had these entrepreneurs like Don Tyson's father, John Tyson, who was an entrepreneurial young guy, kicked off his family farm during the Depression, had to figure out how to make a living. And back in the 40s, he starts shipping chickens. And chicken back then was a specialty meat, right? It was really expensive. It was like lobster. It's what you had on the Sunday dinner. But all these people started figuring out how to raise these birds in bigger and bigger barns. And then they figured out this concept of vertical integration, that one company would start mixing feed, deliver it to farmers, sign a contract with the farmer to have that steady supply of animals. By 1958, Tyson Foods had really fully vertically integrated. They built their first slaughterhouse. They had this network of contract farms. They had their own feed mill, their own hatchery. This gave the company a sort of nimbleness and efficiency that was unprecedented in U.S. meat production. Here's how it worked. Don Tyson in the 80s could, could go to McDonald's and say, you need to sell more chicken. And here's why. You give me an order, and I can turn around and retrofit an entire rural economy to fill that order, okay? I can, I can determine exactly the kind of bird that gets raised. I can determine exactly how big those birds get. I can determine exactly the number of flocks to deliver to you. And then I can build a slaughterhouse that does nothing but makes a product like the McNugget. It was a revolution. Uh, back in the 60s, chicken really wasn't on the fast food menu. But people like Don Tyson saw, we can make this stuff more cheaply and at a scale that will blow the cattle and, and hog people out of the water. And they were right. And that's how chicken became what it is today, which is our, our most affordable, or in other words, our cheapest meat, and also our most popular meat.